Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Alright, let's head down to Bavel. Let's see if we can find this. Rumored cave. Uh, yeah, let's just take the uh, lift. Why not? Hey ladies, how's it going? Hope things are going well. Hello, sir. Two miss. Alright, well. I suppose we can start in the cloister, so let's head down there. This doesn't take you down there. Remember, you can go into the uh, that uh, west room there, that uh, the main lobby, if you will, and uh, I believe it's the you know climb through that opening and in, in the wall, and then uh, the pedestal, I believe, is the one closest to you, closest to the screen. So yeah. All right. Before I move here, I want to go over our setups. So for Yuna, she's on Tetra Master right now. Uh, this is going to be uh, temporary for her until she learns uh, the the first ability of God Iran. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, Tetra Master, eventually I'll be switching her over to High Road Wings, so she can get the, uh, the first strike off. Uh, and I've got both Garment Grids set up, as you can see there. So yeah, very simple. Uh, she's on Mascot, obviously, and I got her with the AP Egg and Smooth Shaling. For Riku, she's starting on Tetra Master with the Mascot, Safety Bit, and Ribbon, and Pain is doing the same. Tetra Master, Mascot, Safety Bit, and Ribbon for her as well. For abilities, Yuna, she is starting on Mughal Kyurja. Once she learns that, I'll set her on Lifeja. And for Riku, I'm having her start right away on Ribbon. And for Pain, her as well is starting on Ribbon. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> she's got quite a few abilities learned compared to everybody else, but as you can see, that's only 10% of the dress sphere, so yeah. <laughs> Oh, that ribbon ability. Anyways. Uh, for accessories, I've got them all sorted down here, the ones that are going to be important. So the important ones are here, the Speed Bracer, Kaiser Knuckles, Champion Belt, the two Crystal Bangles, and the Defense Bracer down here for quick and easy access uh, when we need to uh, swap them. And for Yuna, or not Yuna, um, the items... Got the Phoenix down, Mega Phoenix there at the top there, and X Potion and Mega Potions there for uh, quick and easy access as well. So, yeah. Alright, so let's go. Alright, let's go over here first. I don't think there's any new fiends down here, um, but except for maybe one. So I'll go over that, uh, should we run into it? Alright, the detonators, we've seen them before, so let's just put the wall out. Nice knowing you. <laughs> this has the, uh... <laughs> the makings of a joke. But anyways... Hey, and there it is. Hey, we got an oversoul. Let's see if we can oversoul first. Alright, so we got the Barong there. It has 2,733 HP with 0 MP. You can steal a Phoenix down from it. Weak to fire, immune to gravity. It is immune to sleep, silence, poison, confuse, slow, uh, doom, and percentage based damage, as well as armor break and mental break. And we got some more of them right here. And it does have the ability to poison you, so yeah, heads up. And Oversold, it has 6,833 HP with 0 MP. You can steal the Mortal Shock accessory from it. 
Same elemental affinities, it gains the immunity to Confuse and Berserk, and it also gains the ability to Confuse you as well, so on top of Poison. So everything else is pretty much the same. And here we got some Crystal Gloves, nice. I believe those boost your defense by 60, so yeah. Fairly certain everything else we've run into down here. And once again, the Tetra Master Grimmer Grid seems to be the uh, the way to go down here, so <laughs> yeah. As it's telling us, I believe that's... Is that the first quad nine hit we got? Well, a little ways back there, and there's Moogle, Moogle Kyrja. Awesome. Alright. Let's get to work on Yuna learning those abilities. Alright, first up, let's get her over to Hyrule Winds. There we go. Gotta love those stats. And for abilities, I want to set her on Life Jaw first. Alright. Let's go. Let's head down here. Piece of cake? Where's the fun in that? Oop. Almost forgot. Yeah, let's, uh, let's start this off right, shall we? We've got a lot of. There we go. A lot of AP to go through, so. Start off from the right That's nice. It's just we get 10,000 gil. Unlike the 50 grand we nearly stole from the uh, Argent Inc. CEO, this stuff I believe we can keep. <laughs> Yeah, with the, using the uh, Moogle Kyrja as much as we can, or, you know, basically every time. Every successful heal we get out of that, you know, it only has to heal one person. It could even be for one HP, and we get credit for the ability points, which means, if not mistaken, that's an additional three ability points per use, I think. So, yeah. A battle with three fiends would get us nine AP to begin with, but then uh, using uh, Moogle Kyrja would get us another three. <laughs> so yeah. Suddenly the 999 M AP for the ribbon doesn't seem so far-fetched. Right, here we get six high potions. Uh, I didn't miss you know, any ability, did I? No, it's pretty close though. <laughs> In pain, however, we're good just to let them go. <laughs> let them do their thing. And there is Moogle Life Jaw. Alright, next up. Is Walja. Right. Ooh, there's a quad nine for you. Let's 
Yeah, that's one thing I've noticed about the Moogle Kyrja. If that if Yuna gets hit, um, you know, at the end of the battle, I find it cancels out the move. So yeah. But yeah. I got a good feeling about this one. Me too. If we don't get to cast that battle, we'll get the next one. Here we get ten potions. Pain just throws the head down. <laughs> And eight Phoenix down. And there's Moogle Waldra. through these abilities. Next up is Moogle Regenja. And once she learns that, I'm going to start her on Ribbon as well. Alright. Nothing off to the left there. And I got the familiar save point right here. But let's grab this chest. Contains three more Chukubo feathers. How's her? Yeah, she's still doing good with the MP. Let's heal up and let's go deeper. Still no sign of any uh, new caves. Back in this huge, enormous. Well, well. Undercroft I've got you. Of technology <laughs> in the heart of the veil. Poor pain. <laughs> I mean at least she's a tonberry, you know. But again, I can only imagine how warm it is in those things. Alright. Call. I re referenced this particular tower as the southeast tower, so we want to go to the southwest tower here. That's the south one. This is the southwest. Leave it to me.
Yeah. Somebody put it back together again. Leave it to me. And there's Moogle Regenja. And now... The big one. The ribbon. Alright. Excuse me, sir. I gotta get by you. <laughs> I mean, could have just stepped out of the way. Piece but, of cake? Yeah. Where's the fun in that? We get a white lore. You to use your. Uh, what was it? Yeah, I can. It allows you to use your right mage buttons. Yeah, the tome is the one that reduces the uh, casting time. How did I forget that so soon? <laughs> Alright, hold in the circle as I approach here. There we go. Alright, next up is the North Tower. So this is Southwest. This one's the northwest. And this one's the north. Right. This is your lucky day. Climb up here. And another big boy's move for us. I've got you. Effortless. 
coming in here. Get another Oath of Veil. <clears throat> Pardon me. I think that's the third one we got. Circle again. Chest. Where is it? Where? Oh yeah, it's over here, isn't it? Wait, no. It's over here. Oh, the dark areas where, it, <laughs> where it's so dark that I can't even see exactly where I'm going. And there it is. <laughs> this wasn't going far enough back. 1200 gil. Alright. look pretty standard here so let's try going a bit deeper
More treasure. And get six others. Nice. have to use an either. A familiar a familiar song with being down here I guess. Right. And down here it's six more remedies. So far, nothing out of the ordinary. And back here. Get eight more Phoenix down. I wonder if we've reached 99 by now. <laughs> Spell tonic. And here we are, and just straight down there is one of the holes we could potentially go down when we're ready to uh, go after, uh, what's it called? Begnica. <laughs> Alright, so, so far nothing new. I guess maybe we'll take a look down there, maybe something else has opened up down there. But, because, uh, yeah, oh, that sphere we saw with Nuge in it, there are other ways in there, so maybe there is something to it. So I guess we'll have to head down there, see if there's anything there next time. And, yeah. 
This is Intrepid83 signing off, formerly known as Cyric1983. If you've enjoyed the video, I see, please consider hitting the like button on your way out to help show your support for the series here. And I thank you for that support. And uh, thank you for spending some time with me today. And uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next one. And if you haven't subscribed over there yet, why not head on over to my other channel, Intrepid83, to see if there's anything there that could potentially earn your subscription over there. And uh, if it does, well, I'll see you over there. And uh, yeah, obviously, I would not be asking you to subscribe unless, well, unless you uh, wanted to. So yeah, simple as that. <laughs> all right. And if you dislike the video, by all means, feel free to hit the dislike button. That's what it's there for. And maybe leave a lastly, maybe leave a comment below, giving me any tips or suggestions you might have uh, with how you think I can improve, and I'll take them into consideration. And until next time, thank you again for spending some time with me. For spending some of your time here. Take care, be blessed, and have a good one.